Hello everybody. It is the uh, 15th of August. A little late. I didn't do my uh, post-race report for uh, the Hotter Than Hell race, which was a nine-mile race um, back in July. So I figured I'd wrap this joker up. So it was my first race with my new Ultra Mont Blancs. Um, they performed pretty well. I stomped through every, every water source I could to get my feet wet to see how the shoes would react. Um, and I just learned like I need to lace them up a little bit different because my foot foot moves around a little bit more on these because they're a little more uh, forgiving and elastic on the top for the upper. Um, but as far as foot protection, traction, I never slipped once. I never uh, felt uneasy going up the, the rocky uh, parts of the course. And well, you know, lo and behold, I PR'd this one again. Cut almost five minutes off my previous time, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, again, my son Griffin got to run with me. Uh, the struggle bug hit him a little bit, uh, so he uh, he experienced some of what it feels like to persevere in the face of getting your butt kicked by the heat and the course. So uh, it was interesting to watch that that happen because I had been there. I had done that four, about four years ago when I started running. Anyhow, um, so took took a week off, did a little bit of running. Uh, Cause I, I tweaked uh, I tweaked my ankle just a little bit in my knee uh, as I was trying to help him run and give him some pointers when I was in front of him I did the cardinal rule number one don't take you look don't take your eyes off the course and I stepped on a rock and fell um, I wasn't running real fast because I'm not a fast guy so that was kind of kind of nice um, but overall it was hot but not as hot as it had been so uh, the heat training I did had prepared me well enough for that so I was pretty blessed with that uh, I always meet some nice folks on the course um, got to see David again and, and Miss Mary Jo always always great folks love the races they put on um, and um, anyway food was good as usual but got the race done so all in all pretty good um, pretty stoked about it yeah, looking forward to the race uh, this Saturday Although right now, I've got some sort of sciatica issue or sciatic nerve issue. I can hardly walk, which is kind of interesting. I'm about to hit the chiropractor up here in a few minutes. Let's see if they can work this thing out. Because uh, uh, I'm not sure if I can't walk how I'm going to run. But I might just uh, try to take off on a jog and see see what I can do. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, this will be the last big race um, before prep is fully focused on the 48-hour uh, endless mile. Um, my goal for this one is, um, since I had all the blister and foot issues last time, because I was trying out different shoes and sock combinations, which was stupid, um, we'll try, I am going to try something different again, <laughs> but it's probably going to be a little better. Um, I'll talk about it more in another video, but, um, I was lucky enough to be selected, uh, for the last annual Vol State Run, put on by old Mr. Lazarus Lake. 314 miles across five states, mainly the state of Tennessee, though, um, in 10 days to get it done in. So I've been doing some uh, research on that, reviewing different types of techniques to uh, address foot issues, because that seems to be the overarching, no pun intended, uh, issue with everybody is your feet. Fatigue is just fatigue, you know, I deal with that 40-hour race, but this is a whole different animal. 314 miles in the middle of July across Tennessee, I mean, what could go wrong? And I am doing it, they have two categories, crude and screwed. And like I said, I'll get more into that later. But anyway, I'm going to use this 48 hour race as a little bit of uh, prep for that. Try out some different things, see how it goes. But anywho, I just wanted to post this video up for myself mainly. And any, any anybody else wants to watch, that's fine. Let's help me rehash things I've done in the past, things I'm going to do for. Anyway, that's it for this report. I'm out.